So hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we will be installing MSIX Smart Gaga emulator on our low-end PCs, on which we have already tested many emulators. But what makes this emulator special is that you can easily use it on your 1GB RAM PC. Normally, this emulator does not require any specific graphics card, but if you play Free Fire with high settings, then you might need a graphics card. Talking about the size of this Android emulator, it is just 200 MB, and considering it's designed for low-end PCs, you will find Android 4 in it. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's roll. Before moving towards the installation process, let me share my PC specs with you so that all your doubts are clear. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 J's processor. If we talk about the graphics card, my PC currently has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is not very capable. Now let's proceed towards the installation process. The link to this zip file will be available in the comment box, and you can download it from there. Talking about its size, it's just 200 MB. Simply right-click on it and extract the files. After extraction, go to the folder and create a shortcut for the emulator on your desktop. Once the shortcut is created, right-click on the emulator's icon, select Run as Administrator, and the loading of the emulator will start. As you can see, the emulator loads very fast, taking only 10 seconds. If I show you the Android version of this emulator, you'll find Android 4 in it. Now, let's proceed to install Free Fire. You will find the download link for Free Fire's APK in the description. You can download it from there. After downloading, you simply need to drag and drop the Free Fire APK and the installation will start. As you can see, Free Fire has been successfully installed and now let's test it. The game has started smoothly. So, friends, that concludes today's video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because I regularly upload tech-related videos. And if you're looking for a good Android operating system, click on this video and you'll find what you're looking for. This way, we'll meet again through this video.